In the previous lecture, we have discussed about the calculation of cost of debts. And we have discussed with the help of trial and error method. Means, we said that when we are trying to calculate the cost of debt with the help of trial and error method, we have to assume the value of K, the cost of debt. Quite possible the assumed value may not come to as exact. Then we can take another assumed value and with the help of interpolation, we were able to get a desired result. One method that was trial and error, in today's lecture we will try to discuss calculation of cost of debts with the help of our equation formula that you can also say are the shortcut methods. But as I said earlier also, there will be slight variation with respect to the result that we have received in the trial and error as well as in the equation base. So we are supposed to calculate the cost of debts, the equation can be the cost of debts, interest 1 minus t is the tax rate, also said in the previous lecture that either the interest can be adjusted along with the, oh sorry, either the tax will be adjusted along with the interest or you can adjust the tax after the calculation of cost of debts because you are aware that interest help us in reducing our tax liability and tax has to be adjusted in the interest amount. Plus, RV, RV is redemption value minus B0, B0 is the issue value divided by N, N is the life of the instrument, life of the debenture or life of the bond, whatever that you have taken and the whole divided by and the whole divided by again RV reduction value plus B0 divided by 2 this will be the equation with the help of which you will be able to calculate the cost of debts like the example that we have taken the same example as we have taken in the trial method 12% or 12.5% is the interest on the debenture having the face value of rupees 100 each. The debenture is issued for 7 years having a discount of 5%, flotation charge as 1% and tax is given as 40%. Now, interest is 12.5. Interest is 12.5. 1 minus T, T is 40% plus redemption value, redemption value was not given so we will assume that the phase value will be considered as the redemption value 100 minus issue price if you remember issue price or we can calculate here also again the issue price that is B0, phase value 100, B0 is equal to phase value minus plus premium minus discount minus flotation cost. In this case we have the phase value as 100, we are having a discount, discount of rupee 5 and flotation charge as rupee 1. I told you earlier also that flotation charges will be on the fair value or issue value whichever is higher the issue value is 95 fair value is 100 100 is more so 1% or 100 so that makes rupee is 94 so 94 will be your B0 94 divided by N N is 7 years duration of the Dimension divided by RV 100 plus 94 divided by 2. Try to solve this thing with the help of 
mathematical equation you solve it so when we calculate this equation we can bring the equation in this form and it will come to approx as 8.6 percent this will be your cost of debts if you remember the trial and error method there also we have done the same problem and there itself it was it we have received the cost of debt as 8.7 something that means 8.6 here 8.7 here some variation is always there while rounding off with the triangular method that is why we have got the variation and in the shortcut we have got it 8.6 right so i suppose the concept is very clear the small equation that we have interest adjust the tax redemption value minus the issue price divided by the life of the project redemption value plus issue price divided by 2 you solve the equation and you get the result as the value of kd right okay